Hi everyone, let's talk about new variant, COVID new variant from the UK. Why is this variant called the contagious, dangerous and deadly? When was this found out? And we have a new variant as well from the South Africa. Why is it contagious? So I'm going to share to you information about this new variant. Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about this new COVID variant. I've got so many questions even myself for this new variant. People want to know what kind of variant is this and why is it so strong, so powerful, so contagious that everyone should know. First question, what is it? This new variant was detected sometime in September. At the time, it wasn't that bad. There are a lot of questions and I tried to read information and get this done. The B117 strain of SARS-CoV-2 is a version of new virus with 23 mutations, eight of which are in the spike protein the virus uses to bind to and enter human cells. And where did it come from? It was first detected in September in a place called Kent. This is a county somewhere in England, UK. And it spread in November. Since then, the virus becomes so uncontrollable and more than 50% of new cases was diagnosed. Yeah? So what these mutations do? Okay. There are a lot of strains. It was identified that there are 23 mutations, one of which is the B11 strain of SARS-CoV-2, N501Y. It alters the key amino acids that make up the so-called receptor binding domain of SARS-CoV-2. And there's another third suspicious mutation, and it's called P681H. Again, it's P61H. Question Does it spread more easily? The answer is yes. Experts now think that the new variant is between 50 to 70 percent more. Question Is it more deadly? And the answer is we don't know. Yeah? However, it spreads more easily and it's contagious. That means more people will be hospitalized, more people will get infected. Question, has this variant spread anywhere outside the UK? The answer is yes. On December 29th in Colorado, this has been identified according to the study. America has not done nearly as much as the UK doing this sequencing on viral samples. So they could have it long time, but we don't know. Yeah. And another question, kids catch it more easily? Study shows kids are less susceptible to this kind of infection. Will the vaccine question, which is interesting for me because I had the vaccine injection already before the new year. Well, the vaccines like Pfizer, Astra, Moderna, Sputnik, or the one uh, made in China, will these vaccines still effective in this new variant? The answer is study shows that most of the variants, this vaccine will still work, which is a good sign. Now we're talking about the efficacy rate. So I'm very glad that the Pfizer vaccine that I had has got 95% effectivity rate. The next one has got 94% as Sputnik. AstraZeneca has 74% while Moderna has 94.5. So still the Pfizer won the high efficacy rate. And I'm glad I've got the Pfizer one.
although it's sore i'm telling you for two days i had a sore arm but if i think about the benefits of it it wouldn't be a problem for me and i'm so glad that i had it again advice from the health experts still the same as before we still had to protect the way we had to protect ourselves washing hands physical distancing mask and of course good ventilation thank you guys thank you for watching bye